Welcome everyone to Poi Explorer Edition specifically, the one released a little bit later for Nintendo Switch and I believe another platform as well. But yes, it's basically Poi, just a different edition with some added stuff and all, you know, you know how these games are nowadays. Essentially, the Explorer Edition has an unlockable soundtrack and a digital art book as well as new costumes and hats that are only available within this edition. Um, and yeah, so honestly, it's a pretty fun game. It's not a very long game from my understanding, but um, I like 3D platformers. I like platformers both 2D and 3D, and I want to actually play this. So let's play. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press L and R, both of them, and play options, credits, or extras. What's extras? Uh, we'll be looking at that later if you all want me to and leave some comments on that. Credits, I'm not going to do that. And then options, let's see what we actually have available here for us. Is this load? Oh my god, it took a long time to load. I was like, what the heck? Okay, music volume, sound effects volume, that's fine. Cameras are going to leave like that for now because I'm not sure if that's good or not. Sensitivity, a little higher. Usually I like, I like it if it's, I like it more sensitive, you know? Wow, that sounded terrible, but that was intentional too. That it was a funny joke. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll learn that as we go. We're just gonna go back and play. Let's do this. All right. So before I begin this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. It does let me know that you do like, like this kind of content. So I'll definitely keep uploading if you do that, of course, because it does let me know. That. Loading new game. Here we go. Once upon a time, there were two orphans. They dreamed of finding adventure in life. So one day they ran away and set forth on a grand journey. Hey, hey, wake up. Hello there. Sorry to wake you up, but I'm in a bit of a pickle. I've lost something very important to me in this forest and I was wondering if you could help me out. Take a look up there. See that shiny thing up in the tree? That's the very important item I was telling you about. I'm not quite the young sprout I used to be, so could you please come up there and grab it for me? <laughs> now then, which one of you will help me? You will? Splendid. You've made this old man quite happy. Hey hoo, I'll wait for you to grab it then. Good luck. Okay, so, it's a very, it, it, it's kind of weird, actually, it's, it's a little too freaking fast, probably, but, okay, let me actually press, go to back into options, and lower that back to default. Um, okay, we'll give it a go like this. Well, Alright, but as you can see, it is a 3D platformer, so, okay, press A to jump, hold down the button, makes you jump higher. Yes, yeah, so if you just tap it. Hold it, goes a little higher. The difference is not too big, but it will come in handy um, in some situations. Press A while in the air to do a double jump. Okay. Uh, okay, you can rotate, you can zoom. Oh yeah, you can actually... I should actually be zoomed out a little more. The more I'm zoomed out, the better. Okay. Cool. Uh, you, I believe you can climb ladders. Yes, you can. Okay, we're going to do this. Um, I will say that right from the beginning, one of the things that um, that I find very noticeable is that this game actually has some resemblance to Yonder, the Cloud Culture Chronicles, in terms of graphics and even font and prompts that come up. Press A1 the to do a double jump. Yeah, I, I know that. I don't really need to... Oh, can you just get up there like that? You actually can. Wow, that's pretty funny. Okay. Well, let's go back in here and do what we were doing. Basically, you know, jumping in and grabbing all this stuff, sure. What is this? It says plus 10. Okay. Hmm. I can grab that or I can keep going for other places, but... Okay. We just run through. You been unlocked. Something. I couldn't even read that because it stayed on screen for like 0.5 seconds. 
Okay. You got it. Could you possibly do me one more favor? Please bring my important item over to my airship. Be careful climbing down. Oh my god. This fucking guy. Okay. Alright. Um. Suppose we'll go. Yeah, I should probably grab all this stuff, huh? That would come in handy. Holy shit, okay. Very uh, Super Mario Sunshine-like, if any of you have played that game, which I'm sure most of you actually have. I mean, who hasn't? Even a little bit, you know? Okay, I can swim in the water too. Sounds good. Hello, you. Hi there, are you trying to become an explorer? Oh, you're just helping an old man. I see. Hold X to run faster. Wait. That flag represents a checkpoint. If you lose all your health, you'll restart here. Sounds good. We got a treasure chest there. You're quite nimble. I can't thank you enough for collecting my Explore Medallion. What's an Explore Medallion, you ask? Well, it's a bit of a story. A long time ago, I traveled the world collecting Explore Medallions wherever I went. My biggest adventure was a journey to find a mystical treasure called the Milky Way Globe. Where's the Andromeda Globe? Okay, that was a stupid joke. One day, however, I got caught in a very bad storm. I tried to hang on, but I hit my head and everything went dark. When I woke up, all of my Explorer medallions were gone. I've been slowly trying to find the rest of my Explorer medallions, but it's not very easy for me anymore. Say, why don't you help me find them? It will be quite an adventure. Will you help an old man out? Sure, I love an adventure. Okay. This is so random. There's like no story to this game, almost. You know, like there's no backstory. Like, who the hell are these? I mean, it, it gave a couple bits of, you know, lines of dialogue before the game started, sure. But like, that was it, you know? And I'm just like, what the heck? Well, here we go. Loading the sky. I really like these little nice, this cute little loading screen image, you know? I find it very nice, for sure. So like I said, I don't think this series is going to be um, too long. I'm pretty sure it's not. It's a rather shorter game, I will say, but hey, it's classic 3D platforming, you know, and... Well... We all love that, that's for sure. Whoa. What the heck is going on? They're not even... Okay, there we go. I was like, what? Surprised at how high we are? Welcome to the sky. From here we can fly anywhere in the world of Poi. Take a look over there. There's a first stop, Cozy Canyon. I was on my way to look for more Explorer medallions before I noticed the one in that forest. Since we're an official explorer in training now, why don't you take us over there? See the steering wheel in the middle of the ship? Push the bars to turn us toward that silhouette. Pay no attention to the compass, it's a little broken right now. <laughs> okay. Alright, off to Cozy Canyon, so we have to, what, we gotta push that? Travel! You just press A and that's it. Activate the windmill. That, that's the mission? Okay.
Here we go. Another world, or another area, whatever. This way to Cozy Canyon. Oh, thank you, because I didn't know that. New location, first steps. So all that stuff, I mean, it should be on the book. Okay, yeah. One out of 16, and the fourth, it says I have one, but there's actually plenty more. Clue stones, items, sounds good. Alright, let's do this. You gotta, you gotta check basically everywhere, you know, if you wanna, like, get everything. Everything possible. What, what are you? I try to stay on the path to avoid running into enemies. You see, I'm not starting to jump on them. Hmm. Shovel? I don't have a shovel. Okay, so our goal is, of course, the, the medallion. Okay, nothing over there. The thing is, do I really need to collect all the coins? What the fuck are the coins for? Oh my god, I freaking cling onto that. Okay. Um, yeah, I suppose we'll go that way. Shit. <laughs> my freaking depth in here is actually, it's actually a little difficult to kind of fully see that. I don't know how to explain that, but... I feel like I just will be learning about this. Like, I'll be... New location, Mysterious Sandpit. Okay. Uh, let's see... This is this another shovel area? Those things are actually running away. Another shovel spot over there. Okay, avoid standing too close to the narrow cliffs. Got it. Okay, so I came in from... Oh my god, I mean the freaking windmill's right there. I can, I can just grab that shit. But see, all this is just for... Coming... Hmm. The motion is definitely very... It's like a very flighty motion, I don't really know how to explain it, but... It's interesting, it's not bad, but it's not like great either, you know? Hmm. I should probably just get over there. Oh no, wait, what, what happened there? Oh my god. I don't know what that was all about. I'm still trying to figure out what the coins are for though, but um... There's a chest. Alright, just a bunch of money. I don't know why the music reminds me of, like, Gex for whatever reason. Man, that's a game I never played on my channel. Even though I- oh god, even though I definitely wanted to at one point. Hmm. I guess you can, you can jump through the rope. Made it up here. Oh god. You. Oh, I have to follow it? Hmm. Okay. Did I just land on an enemy? Oh my god. Oh, I did. On that, those bucket guys. Okay, now we can just stand here. And we got a medallion. Nice. Medallion collected. Activate the windmill. Time, 417. And with that we get- yeah, so there's not really a purpose to the coins, right? Because the other thing too is that like once- I noticed that like it started over, so I, I don't know. Welcome back, Explorer. I have something to show you. Come here and take a look. What? 
Oh, is that... Wait, is that what it was? No. I think I landed on the... Okay. Okay, some coins. If I give them to you, even Master Explorer. Take a look. I see. Wait, I have a hundred? Makes it easier to navigate levels and find secrets. Increases the maximum number of coins you can carry. Holy shit. Permanent extra heart automatically grabs nearby coins and collectibles. Let's you take pictures and document your discoveries. Let's you see things from far away. What if I get... I mean, I'm curious what, um, what this is. The compass will appear as a bar at the bottom of the screen. It will show you the direction of characters and secrets in the level. It's quite useful. Press, uh, then just select it and press Y to use it. Okay. I suppose I'll get something else, sure. Maybe the big wallet? Yeah, I should probably do that, just because... Oh wow, that's actually super simple. There's not anything else. I can't even buy the telescope, because I'm, uh... 20 away? Cozy Canyon? So, it's kind of like Super Mario, or... Yeah, you see, see how, like, you select it? Like Super Mario 64, or Sunshine, or... I mean, Galaxy, they're all like that, you know? Okay, so let's see where this one is. So it's pointing to the K. Today's a flower festival. You should go and join the festivities. Uh, sure? I mean, why not, right? Let's do it. Okay, so now I know the purpose of coins, so you do want to grab some coins, but you don't want to go too out of your way to grab a lot, because I don't think you really have to, you know? Like, if you grab some cool, but... Like, it's whatever. Oh, I got a heart. Okay, so it's saying to press... I see. Okay. So it does show... Okay, that's interesting. Definitely. Can I actually kill... Oh, no! Damn it, I wanted to actually land... Oh, I missed a heart, too. Me and my stupid ass. Okay. And then those, I believe, are just worth a lot of coins, I think? Hello. This year's console will begin once all three contestants are ready. What was that? Lost in a nearby cave? Wait, you all lost your seed? Hmm. Okay, well... Wait, so that was one. So I still need two more. Yes, okay. So I have to find cave entrances, apparently. Well, I guess I'll go this way, sure. Are you the same person as before? Yes, you are. I mean, they're all saying that they lost it in the freaking cave entrance, so... Okay. Steep Cliff Cave. Alright, so that's two. So we have just one more cave entrance to find. Is it that one? It's totally that one. Totally that one. Wait, that was right here from the beginning. Oh wait, not to go from... Uh, up from the top, I suppose. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Okay. Just gotta find an easy way to get there. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. That's all of them. Alright, so now that all three are ready, we can just, uh... We gotta go over there now. And finish up this, uh... Mission thing. 
Wait, I, I forgot where. Oh, I think it's just up there. Okay. Let me talk to you. It's time. Let the contest begin. Oh, wow. This year's winner is yellow. <laughs> Alright, what now? Wait, that's it? Wait, how do I see? Okay, it just says the flower festival. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Is there something up there? Aha, it's up there. Got it. What the fuck? I can stand on the cloud like that? I can, I can just stand on the cloud like that? That's ridiculous. In kind of a funny way, but... There we go. Got the flower festival. And I did get some more money, so I can, like, buy something else, else if I really wanted to. If I really, really wanted to. Uh, maybe not, though, because I kind of want to save for this shovel, right? Welcome back, Explorer. Port side. Here, use my old Explorer sail. The Explorer will let you soar through the sky. I've looked it to your backpack, so just jump off the ship and it will activate automatically. What? Whoa. Oh. Press speed. How do you control this shit? Do you have to press... What the f Yahoo! Um, I pressed B and it actually ended up taking me higher. Wait. Oh, I see. Okay, so you move the stick down to go up. That actually wasn't as obvious, I would say, but okay. Hello, you. Yes, I am. I'm a traveling merchant. In exchange for coins, I can borrow my cannon to visit far-off lands. Far-off lands? Hey, but what the hell is this for, though? Puzzle Tower for ten? Uh, sure. Okay, I mean, let's see how this goes. Like, do you get medallions from here? Possibly. Oh my god, okay. Well, this is gonna be uh, kind of a nightmare, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the, it's the first one. It shouldn't really be that bad. Oh, they also... It's like a stopwatch. Okay. Whoa, 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 okay. So, the thing is, can you make these jumps? I think you can. Oh my god, you can actually profit real easily. Like, I paid 10, and I'm gonna get more than 10 here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go higher. I'm not really sure if, this, if it is correct to do this, but... What am I supposed to do? Okay, I have to get to the metal thing over there. Got it. Um... Okay. Get up there. Nice. And there's there it is. Okay. That's number three. Oh, no, wait, no, number four. Because I got one in the very beginning. Yes. So just think of the medals like as stars, you know? Staff Ghost. Or, well, I don't really care. I just want my damn medals, you know? So I got that. I suppose I can keep doing these if I really wanted to do it. You know? I don't see why not. Hey. So, I mean, the thing is, they cost a lot. Super Slide. As long as I can keep profiting, okay, I'm just going to skip this because we already know what's going to happen. The same event. 
Okay, here's Super Slide. Ready? Oh man. I don't know slide controls at all. I don't think there's actually anything... You can jump. Oh, wait, what did I just miss? Did I just miss something? Oh my god! Okay, okay, shit. Okay, let's start over. It's human unlock first death. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, it's, it's just five. Okay. I chose this straight pathway. Uh, I don't care if I miss these coins as much as I want them. I'm trying to prioritize getting the metal. Oh, also, you can't double jump off the, slo the slope thing. Okay. How many coins did I get? If I got at least 15, then I actually, you know, broke even and even profited, so. 27? I got 27? Wow. Okay, that's another one. Give me the medals. Okay, so I'm at 27 minutes. I'm almost going to be up there in time because I'm going to keep these videos around 30 minutes or so. Hey. Okay, now we'll do... Sky Grid for 25. As long as I'm profiting or at least breaking even, then I'm good here. But this one costs a lot more. It's 25. There's bees. Are you shitting me? Okay, I hate bees. Oh man, there's actually no um. What the hell was that? My bad on that. Wait, do you not lose a heart? I didn't lose a heart from that. Why does this seem really easy? Oh god, but yeah, this one doesn't have any coins. Unless I kill the bees, but... Nope. I can't believe I just got another medal. The fact that these are like stars, like... But that means it, it took me 25 just to get another one. Oh man, that actually was not a fair trade at all. 25 coins for that? Mm-mm. Definitely not. Welcome back, Explorer. Did you hear something just now? It sounded like it came from the top of the airship. Go investigate. The top of the airship. Um, okay. Sure, I'll just... I wonder what that is. Why, because we have like five or six now? How many do we actually have? Why doesn't, why doesn't it show? Oh, there we go. Six. We have six. Challenge levels. Oh, we already got... Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the hell are you? Oh, darn it. You found me. I helped aboard your ship before you left the forest. I want to go on an adventure, too. Anyway, since we're adventuring together, now I suppose I can give you tips and tricks on how to become a great explorer. You'll be glad I'm around. That's it. What? Okay, that was, that was a pure ripoff. Hmm. Alright, well. Oh my god, did I really just miss it? Okay, well, oh, also, I haven't even talked to you, but. Would you like to change characters? Nah, I mean, I'm a boy. I play as a boy. Looking for more explorer tools? Oh, uh, I mean, I guess. I don't know. Uh, 75, 100, 120. These actually look kind of interesting. The magnet looks very useful. Extra heart. Let's you see things from far away. Do I even need a telescope? I don't think I do, to be honest. I'm gonna pass on that. And yeah, Cozy Canyon, sure. Also, wait, how do you save this game? I believe it saves automatically. I believe it does. Okay. Well, in that case, we're just going to start the next one. We're not really going to actually do it. Rocket Blast Off. Just because we are actually low on time, even though we already got six. 
That's not bad. We got six medals. Okay, so that's the rocket. We have to blast it off. Take my old explorer book. I forgot to give you a... Oh. Wait, I already had that. I literally already had that. What are you talking about? Explore medallions to open the explorer with press minus. Okay. Sure. Alright, so it looks different this time around. Very different. I suppose I'll grab these easy coins. Sure. Oh, you piece of... There we go. Killed you. So I have to make it over to the... Thing up there, I'm pretty sure. I believe that's what it's actually saying. Actually, maybe not. I might be way off with that. Hmm. Oh wait, grab this too. That's worth five. Oh, see, okay, it is open. Okay, now it makes more sense. So more, more of the stage will get unlocked. Okay, got it. Alright, anyway, this is actually going to be a really good time to end the video here because I am kind of out of time. Um, I got this checkpoint, I suppose. Alright, so before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.